First, though, this noontime breaking news of the accused clergy list. The Providence Diocese releases a list of 50 priests and clergy credibly accused, it says, of sexually abusing minors over decades. Some of them were still ministering until just a few years ago. Our team coverage starts live in Providence with Eyewitness News reporter Kim Colonian at the diocese. Well, Brian, none of the priests on this list are currently in active ministry. These are the names of priests who have served for the Providence Diocese dating back to the 1950s. Many of them are now dead. The names of 50 men make up a list of priests and other clergy in the Providence Diocese who have been credibly accused of sexual abuse against minors. Of them, 31 are dead and 19 still alive. The living have all been removed or resigned from active ministry. The publication of this list is an expression of the transparency we want to encourage and the accountability we need to accept. Bishop Thomas Tobin releasing a video statement alongside the names, which adds providence to a growing number of Catholic dioceses that have published such lists. He says the men listed are not necessarily guilty of the crimes they're accused of committing. The list does not reveal how many victims each priest or clergy member is alleged to have had or when the alleged abuse took place. The list does include Reverend Daniel Azarone, sent to prison in 2005 for raping two boys at St. Mary's in Cranston, and Deacon Lawrence Gagnon, who admitted to molesting three students at West War St. Joseph's Catholic School in 2010 and 2011. On Newsmakers in December, Tobin said the diocese had spent $18 million on settlements related to sex abuse and an additional $2 million on counseling for victims. We will continue to do everything in our power to remove sexual abuse from the church and to bring healing and peace to all. Finds credibly accused. Well, the Providence Diocese says the retired state police major who heads up their Office of Compliance reviewed 70 years of records and only put someone's name on this list when he had, quote, reasoned and grounded belief that the allegations against them were sufficiently supported by the evidence. Live in Providence this afternoon, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. Kim, thank you. And our team coverage continues now live in studio with Target 12 investigator Ted Nisi. Ted, you were in early this morning looking through this document. What have you found so far today? Well, Brian, this is a lot of information. As you say, my Target 12 colleague Eli Sherman and I have spent the last four hours pouring through it along with our team. Uh, here are a few facts that stand out to us so far. First, a lot of these cases are long in the past. The oldest of the priests listed was born in 1904. The youngest was born in 1959. He's still alive, but he was removed from ministry 20 25 years ago. We've also been comparing this list with one maintained by the private nonprofit Bishop Accountability. We found 17 names on the diocese's new list are not listed in that Bishop Accountability database of accused priests. Finally, it's important to understand what was not provided today. There are no details on this list about the underlying accusations, so we don't know when the alleged abuse occurred or how many victims allegedly there are. Also, a lot of people talking today about this term that Kim also mentioned at the top of the half an hour here. Uh, the diocese uses the term credible accusation. What do we know about that phrase? Brian, as far as I can tell, it's really up to one man, and that is retired state police major Kevin O'Brien, who works for the diocese's head of its Office of Compliance. Bishop Tobin says O'Brien was given full authority to review all files and make the determinations on who should be included on this list of accused priests. But there are two names listed, even though O'Brien apparently did not deem the accusation against those two priests credible. Those two deceased priests are listed as, quote, publicly accused as opposed to credibly accused. The diocese says that's because their accusers have already spoken out publicly about their allegations, so they put their names on there even though they aren't sure whether those are credible. We don't know, of course, how many other accusations uh, have been made but were not deemed credible by the diocese. Okay, so a lot to go through here. Absolutely, Brian. Ted, oh, thanks to you, of course, and Kim also this half hour. Stay with Eyewitness News for our continuing coverage. Much more on WPRI.com and in the WPRI 12 app right now. That includes a link to that entire list posted by the